A few doors away sits an antique shop, the Red Queen's Attic. That place is very active. Out of a scale of one to five, I would give it a four. Is there anybody here who wishes to communicate with us? A uh, portal to the past, perhaps? All of a sudden, out of nowhere, I just got this huge headache. And all of a sudden, you hear somebody throw something in the back. going on my paranormal people hey welcome to day two of this paranormal road trip flashback here in uh, the city of Rosenberg the haunted block tour so we're gonna start off before we hit hit the uh, the haunted places we're gonna go do this uh, quick train museum tour and besides there's a rail car over here that supposedly people are having uh, Weird experiences? Uh, yeah, feelings? Uh, actually, a uh, shadow man they're, they're seeing in there. Actually, people have been uh, pushed well, and seeing apparitions. Uh, and we're going to join the tour, and then we're going to ask the tour guide about the uh, strange happenings of the Kaboos. So come, guys, let's go uh, come with us, and let's go check out the, uh, the museum. Here we go. So we have a question. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Anything weird happening here? We heard some stories of we've people been, feeling We've strange. been getting a lot of stories. I know one um, of my experience was a lady came in, I was giving a tour, and right there at the, um, the kitchen area is when she was saying how she had to get out of here. She was banking on the door, trying to push the door out, like extremely scared, about to cry. And I'm asking her like, what's going on? And she's just like, it's, I have feelings, I have emotions, I know something happened inside of here. And she was telling her husband, of course, but that's about, we, we got a couple of couple of them. We get a lot of couple of people that comes in and just walk straight past by it. They're, they seen things. You ever felt or seen anything? Or heard? I never <laughs> felt or anything. I thought anything I heard like a door like um, bang right of far, from a far distance right now. Mm, really? Okay, cool. <laughs> 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 oh, we can <laughs> exit this <laughs> 
watching. No, I'm <laughs> hey, well, that was a, a cool tour. I strongly recommend y'all coming over here, especially when you find out uh, the strange happenings here. Yes. And Samaria, Samaria. 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 Sam is very, very knowledgeable. Very knowledgeable, Thank very entertaining. Thank you. Awesome boots, too, that blinded everybody. In the I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Sam. Thank awesome. You. So let's go hit the next place and uh, see if we can get that interview off of uh, Noel at the Red Queen's Attic. Yeah, we're so, old blue. Oh, uh, blue. We'll have Sam coming out. Oh, uh, Sam's coming too. with us. Just and her free. and her, her and her phone app. Yeah. <laughs> phone app. Bring it where the yeah. Let's Definitely. go, guys. Let's go next to the next one. Hey guys, we're here at the Red Queen's Attic, and we're going to be speaking to Noelle, one of the owners of the Red Queen's Attic, the haunted Red Queen's Attic, and she's going to give us some updates on um, what's been going on here. So, uh, Well, we always have lots of activity in the store. One of the latest things where we had a psychic come in, and his cousin comes here a lot of times. Um, she said just to, to practice, to hone her skill, practicing with the spirits. She says this, the store is just filled. Um, there's certain areas of the store that are more um, active than others. We always get comments, you know, hey, is that that particular space, um, something going on there? I felt something. or So we get a lot of comments, and they're always in the same places. And I don't want to stay on camera where they are because I don't want to put it out there because I get a kick out of people sure. coming in and finding out where the spots are. So one of the fun stories that I have is our our clockmaker. He won't like me telling this story, but I'm going to tell it anyway. Um, our clockmaker, who is a total non-believer. Oh no! Well, don't tell those stories. It's not true. And you're so crazy. That's just a total non-believer. So he spent one whole day setting up his, all of his clock repair stuff here on this counter, and he has special lights, and he was working on some really pretty intricate work so all of the clock parts are laid out and his special glasses with the special lights and he had, was all set up well I said well it's time to go let's go he said oh no I'll be here till three o'clock in the morning because I I have to repair these clocks and so I just laughed and I said okay because you know it's not a fun place to stay here right? <laughs> so I went on home and he didn't want to to burden us with extra electric bills. So he turned the big overheads off and then he came back here and he put his special glasses on and he was just about to pick up a tool and start to work on a clock and he feels something on his shoulder and a little voice behind him say, I wanna see. <laughs> and it freaked him out. Total non-believer. He said, I don't know if I locked your store, I just pushed myself out through the self-locking door and came here. I didn't turn anything else off. I just left. I, he was so upset. He was rattled. And it was so sincere because uh -huh. he had every reason to stay here. He had work to do. He'd set it all up. And he hightailed it out of here because it just freaked him out. Dragon and to this one. day, he won't turn lights off at the you know uh, he won't in certain uh, areas of the store uh, <laughs> turn the lights off uh, and he will not be in the store yeah. after hours wow. one of the other things that occurs often is we would be in the habit on either friday night or saturday night after a really long good day we have a, a crew we consider ourselves all family at red queen's attic because we have about i don't know at any given time between 20 and 30 vendors in our great big mall and so it would be like cocktail time at, at about 5.30, 6 o'clock. And we'd hang out here, have a couple of beers, and chit chat, and talk about our favorite sale of the day or, or you know, some, just fun stuff. 
it happened twice that I didn't realize it, but I would hear pacing. And me and one of the other vendors in the store were looking like, who's still in the store or who's walking? She says, it's just the ghost. There's nobody there. I've checked three times. So we would be here laughing and having a good time, but we could both hear somebody walking by. And so that, that happened quite a few times. If there are apparitions here, they appear eager to make their presence known. We heard this this noise, like something scraped across the floor. We went upstairs, kind of overviewed everything, and uh, noticed that one of the chairs was pulled out from the table. Oh, is that what we're... Oh, that's what it sounds like. Wow. That's what it sounds... That's what we heard. That, that chair had been moved, which we didn't move, by the way, so... Um, I remember that last time we came, we investigated, and we, we caught the sound of the chair moving. Yes. It is now your... It's my uh, husband's workspace. Oh, your space. husband's workspace. We, we, do you remember okay. what happened when we did the pre-work on that room? I was telling you about how uh -huh. the radio stations changed. That's That's where I was getting to, yeah. And um, because I wanted to show you at the beginning, which you have me actually on camera going over to the corner, I said, it's this radio. And yeah. as I walked to that space, uh -huh. There was a chair in front of a desk that somebody had during the day pulled out, and I pushed that chair in uh -huh. to get to the radio. Okay, yeah, yes, yeah. Do you remember? I remember that, absolutely. And then, when we did the investigation, there was none of us in the room. Yeah. We all heard what we heard, yeah. because you mm -hmm. could see me putting the chair oh, yeah. earlier in the evening. E earlier, yeah. It was just us. Especially so. since we had walked by there. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty freaky. Yeah, that was a good Jeez. one. Jeez. Let's uh, watch that footage from our previous investigation, so check it out. Tour, she walked by here. Yeah. Oh, it was is right that what? Oh, that's right what it here. sounds like. Wow. That's what it sounds. That's what we heard. Yeah. That's it wasn't like that. Too. I tucked it in because you have to keep the path. Right. That's what we heard. She wow. just she, she she stopped right as she's trying to get by here. Uh -huh. Here you go. She stopped. She says. I said what? Was that not like that? She goes. It wasn't like that. And we didn't move anything when we were in here. No, we just not at all. We didn't even go that way. We walked out. Yeah, we walked right through here. We went no, straight to the back of this room. when we first came up, I walked right here to turn this off because it was on for the day. So and common sense would have, you would have pushed it in. When I walked by it. If it were out. Yeah. Right. Hmm. Interesting. And that's, I mean, it has to be off exactly kind That's what we heard. Oh, that's exactly yeah. what we heard. We heard that chair. Except we followed it the wrong way. Yes, We're maybe. asking them to make a noise in here. Too. Another thing, though, you need to go back to the footage later on tonight and see as we walk in their room. Yeah. Uh, let's see where, yeah, see we're if it was in yeah. We panned the whole room. You had mentioned something that somebody felt like there was an alleyway, there was a murder. Yeah, next. we. The, if you look at our old picture, you can uh -huh. see that where our building ended was actually here and um, mm -hmm. at the end of that. So this building is new. Okay. This building is newer than the main building. Uh -huh. And so there would have been an alley there, been there uh -huh. back at the turn of the century. Okay. So um, one of the psychics said, definitely said that there was a murder in that alley and he's buried. He was either they believe 100 percent that he's buried in our teacup <laughs> oh geez also uh i remember when we did investigation sylvia started getting a headache and then we heard something sounded like something was thrown 
Well, well, we were way in the back, and, and uh, when that happened, yes. but you had mentioned that there is uh, there was a church back there. This building was rented and used as a church for quite some time. In fact, that area over there was the stage, and there was a sound booth in the back. I don't mm. know where you were getting, but we're with the story. But it had been a church. So it had been a church. Yeah. Was people used to live here? Also, there, there people, was something. People did live here. That's right. Okay, there was something that you had mentioned that there was. It might have been one of the families from the church. Okay. So the area in the back where the ceiling gets taller, um, there was a second story there. Uh huh. And I found it odd that people wanted to live there because there's no. It's a brick building, and any windows that had been there that faced the alleyway had long been bricked over. So uh -huh. if you were living here at night, it was a very dark creepy hmm. weird place yeah and they had little kids and uh -huh. so but it did have a vibe but I had a hard time passing back there and yeah. being wow. being back there at all yeah like I, I wouldn't go I just felt it and then in, in the same in the same way that there's spaces in the store you just absolutely feel it you, yeah you get to the top of the stairs yeah and at the beginning of the day and it's uh -huh. like something's waiting it's just a strange thing. Yeah. There's a lot of flickering of lights. We've had ballast change and whatever, but if I seem to be working in a space, uh -huh. I get a lot of light flickering. Um, just like something will we will fall off the wall. And mm -hmm. we, I just blame it on the ghost trying to get my attention. Yeah, so I'm gonna let y'all watch some of that footage that we, that we experienced way towards the back where Sylvia started uh, getting a headache and then it sounded like something was thrown. So here you go, check it out. The radio that we had, that I had pointed to you that for the chair episode, uh -huh. they were in that room. There was no radios on. And the radio turns on and off oh, really wow. fast. And it was, I want to say it was like the Bomba or something like that. It was like, da 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 So we just have all of the radios set at one radio station, station. Yeah. placed staged all over the store. Right. And one of the frequent things that happened that first made me discover that we were something was going on is when I was running the store by myself, I'd come back to the store in the morning uh -huh. and all the change the station not all, but several of the radio stations would be changed to another station. Wow. And they were yeah. almost always a Spanish station. Wow. A girlfriend of mine came into the store and I said, you're not going to believe what happened. Uh -huh. I said, but I think this place is haunted because it changes that. The radio yeah, station crazy. changes at night. And, she yeah. was, and I explained the whole thing to her. And I said, come and see, come and see. And was we're going up the back stairs. She goes, did you feel that? I go, yeah. And it was like something just went by us and up the stairs. Uh -huh. Like they couldn't wait for us to see. And that cha that station that I had changed back uh -huh. in the morning was back to the oh, station. Oh, wow. Jeez. Yeah. That is yeah. 
the same person. I don't know. Wow. That did that, turned it on, also been the know. one that got murdered. He made yeah. Hispanic oh, guy. that's true. You know, sometimes I think things come in with items. Yeah. And then yeah. they Attached leave. To, absolutely. And they attachment. leave with items. Mm -hmm. We've only had one really negative item that we ended up just destroying. And some friends of mine brought it in. They had it in the store. And, you know, they had been doing really well sales-wise. Uh -huh. They've been doing really good. And they brought this piece in. And then their sales dropped. And we couldn't figure it out. So we redid their space. And we adjusted prices. And their sales. And, you know, she goes... Uh, I think it's that piece. There's something wrong with this piece. I'm getting a bad vibe from the piece. Hmm. So um, we took the piece out yeah. uh -huh. and we put it in another area. Yeah. And so that area just does, well, did, did do well. And it, eventually what we ended up doing is just taking it to the alley and busting it. Oh, jeez. We were just yeah. like, there's something not, wow. not yeah. great about this yeah. piece. Wow. I heard stories. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That's wow. crazy. I know well, it's I cuckoo, think, isn't it? I think I like to collect vintage um, Santo statues. I'm okay. fascinated by Catholic religious art, especially. Uh -huh. And it was interesting that um, you put a tape together. Oh yes, yes. Using yeah. a piece that yeah. was like my favorite piece. Yeah. But also, I had a collection of it in the store. And yeah. when you're psychic, she'd walked around the store and she turned around and she goes, "Oh, here you are." And I just thought that was kind of neat that she picked up on that. Yes. Yeah. So I don't feel like there's a negative energy in the store. I think that there's like a lot of good energy in the store. Yeah, yeah. You know, the clocks seem to have a life of their own. Mm -hmm. It's sort of the heartbeat of your home. Sure. You know, the mm -hmm. yeah. ticking and the, it's, it's oh, an yeah. interactive item. So the, the store has a good energy. I'm not saying that, that it's necessarily negative energy, but definitely we have some, a trickster here. <laughs> we have a trickster or two. Uh, awesome. Awesome. That's cool. What do you think? I think it's, you got a little kid here personally. We do. Yeah, there's more than the one. Little, there's little, it's the curious one. There's a, that curious one. That there one. is. There is more than one. And I've been told by children, because we have a toy area upstairs, uh -huh. uh, that they, I've had children say, they, the little girl up there doesn't like us to play with her toys. Oh, wow. So, and children unsolicited have mm -hmm. said that. So I think we have a little girl, possibly, okay. and I think maybe, maybe two or three male spirits. Is there anybody here who wishes to communicate with us? Me and a partner of mine, we heard a little girl laugh. It sounded like a giggle. You know, my brother and I started the store um, about 15 years ago. Well, it's 2006 or 14 years ago, okay. and uh, we always said if this isn't, if it becomes any, it's not fun anymore. We're just, our relationship is more important. We're best friends. Our relationship is more important right, than sure, business. Sure, absolutely. And so we've had a great working relationship all these years. We do what we absolutely love. Mm -hmm. We're we're good at what we do. Yeah. We've been you know, considered one of the best antique stores in Fort Bend County for years and years and years. We're definitely put one of the largest. I appreciate it. Uh, you guys definitely need to come down to the Red Queen's Attic. I, I agree. I love coming up here. This is by far one of the best antique stores I've gone mm -hmm. in my travels. It's a great place to come visit. The energy is great. There, there's some ghost stories here, but I don't think there's anything bad here. So you guys should definitely come check it out, at least for the antiques. I, I love I love antiquing, but uh, when you throw in a good spooky story, it makes it even better. So guys, come check out, come say hi to Noel, come check out Red Queen's Attic. So we're gonna go to the next place. Let's do it. See you there. I forgot to mention, hope you guys enjoyed the stories from Noel here at the Red Queen's Attic. Yeah. If you're interested, there's some 360 degree video that I shot. If you want to take a quick virtual tour and see what you feel, I'm going to provide a link right up here. So uh, check it out. And uh, if y'all feel anything fr just from the video, let us know, leave a comment. Yeah, trust us, there's different rooms, different areas, things that you could have dolls in one section, dishes in another. Trust me, you get out here, you're going to feel this energy change from one room to another. So you never know what's going to, what you're going to get. 
or you could end up probably getting the best evidence anybody's ever seen. Yep. So. Hey, you might, maybe you'll feel something. So let us know. So now let's head over here to the Vogel Sings. Let's go check it out. <laughs> This connects over here to the restaurant and at one point I remember them telling us that some guy that worked for the restaurant used to live in one of these little areas I don't know. these areas over here and supposedly the guy would hear a lot of activity and sounds you know uh, I don't know how long ago that was from what I remember the last time uh, that we investigated years ago they had mentioned that somebody was living over here in this store this right here is the uh, elevator I guess yeah, yeah it's a uh, yep it's really cool there's a pulley there with the and it works it still works actually the last time I came here it was uh it was all the way down to the bottom so uh, that's pretty cool over here is the theater and in the, the theater we also were able to investigate you know like I had mentioned in the previous part one of this uh, trip flashback so, yep, this is this is the theater. Over here, there used to be more antiques. It's uh, it extended all the way over there, but apparently they there was a small fire up here. Okay. And so they no longer use this for antique space. It is now a stage or like a okay. little meeting room. Yeah, it's just nothing there anymore. Oh wow. Okay. Yep. And we we heard some things, experienced some weird, strange things. Uh, here when we were in that area when the antiques were stool, you know stool all over here So uh, check out that footage again and let us know what you what you think. Here you go No way. I'm not kidding. I thought you'd tap me. <laughs> did you touch Kelly on her back? Was that you? It's cool if you did. Did you hear that? That's what I keep hearing. It was a little girl. No way. I just heard a giggle, I swear to God. I didn't hear that. I thought... No, I swear, I just got chills all over my freaking arms. Y'all didn't hear that? Y'all being serious? No, I didn't hear anything. Well, I didn't hear anything. She was even over here, so. It was from over there, I swear to God. I just, just came from? Okay. A laugh? Yes. Like a, <laughs> Was that you that just laughed with us? Immediately upon me hearing that giggle, I mean, literally, immediately, I got chills all over down my arms. That was crazy because I started feeling chills myself, and it just kept going on and on and on. I'm, I'm like, not hearing this. What'd you hear? There's something going on over here. What did you hear? I am not a crazy person. But what'd you hear? I don't know, like shuffling. Wouldn't me? No, it's from back here. It's the third time I've heard it. Stand still, because you know when you're moving with these wooden floors. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna end our tour here at the uh, old railroad. Uh, we're having a 
couple beers. I'm here with my buddy Rodney. He did the uh, tour, the second part of the tour out here. It's a good day. It's, it was it was pretty fun. What do you think of Rosenberg, man? I love it. I think Rosenberg you guys need to come out here and check it out. There's so much history, and not, not a lot of people know about it because everybody wants to go out to these bigger cities, where they go to San Antonio or Austin and all that. Believe it or not, a lot of these little small towns, especially in Rosenberg. You, you, you could easily miss it if you're driving down 59. Yes. That's one of the reasons you got to take the back way and, and, and to go straight into their downtown. What a, an awesome day trip location, yes. right? Because of all the antique stores that they have out here. The uh, Railroad Museum, which is really cool. That, if you like trains and then if you got kids, bring yeah, them out here. That is a really cool place. Take the tour. Take the tour. Ask them about the uh, the ghostly experiences oh, yes. that they have there at the uh, that real park yes. and uh, the art center that they have out here. And they're really just in this few square blocks. There's so many places to uh, hit up and, and make a day out of it. The restaurant, the food here is incredible. It's awesome. The uh, obviously the beer, the bar is, is really really cool. We, we enjoy uh, ending our road trip with a with a nice cold beer. But uh, I strongly recommend you guys come out here because watching it on video and ex and experiencing it live firsthand, man, there's no comparison. No, not at all. Especially if you come out to a place like this, unlike some of these other larger historical places, you're right there immersed in the history. Absolutely. Come out here to Rosenberg, man. What an awesome day trip place. And uh, it's, a, it's a good paranormal road trip for you guys to take as well. Ask people about their, their ghosts, uh, their, their uh, the history. It's awesome. Oh, yeah. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. You know, it'll help us out. We hope to see you on the next trip, guys. Thank you, and see you then. Peace. cease to be amazed. Lots of things leave me with no alternative explanation. Oh, what the f So now you've seen the evidence. However, truth like beauty, of course, is in the eye of the beholder. But if you can't believe on this night, when can you believe?